Hi, this is Trey Pastor. This is my review of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 13, titled One of Us. Okay, and it begins with <coughs> Kyle McLaughlin, who plays Sky's father, who's basically bat s crazy. <laughs> uh, he shows up at an apartment. Um, the girl that used to play uh, uh, that was on The Sopranos, I forgot her character, isn't it? Uh, who got killed by uh, Big, you know, by Big P. <laughs> Uh, she's a, a guest star on this, and she was on Sons of Anarchy as Jax's ex-wife. I can't forget what her real life name is, but anyway, she's, you see her eating in an apartment, a rundown apartment, and she's, she has basically these metal claws on her hand, and she's eating steak with it, and she's watching an old movie, and you hear it banging on her door, which she kind of ignores at first, and then she gets up and answers it, and then you see Kyle McLaughlin there, this guy's that as crazy father there, with uh, two gentlemen behind him. One is a, like a computer expert, and one is a little, uh, who was a former mob enforcer who experimented with steroids on himself. Both were on this index that Shields has of special people that, you know, that they locked up because they were a danger to other people. Okay, and they're, they're behind him, and he's basically explaining what the goal is to, they're going to liberate uh, the, themselves from Shield. They're going to expose Shield to the world. And he, you know, goes on his usual rant about how they took his daughter and all that other stuff. And then at first she closes the door on him, okay? And then she goes back and opens it up. And he basically explains, you know, he has the uh, computer expert. He takes the, the you know, the, the metal claws off her hand. And she has actually fingernails that are like metal tips. But she can actually, you know, touch herself now without you know, feeling of cutting herself, and so she's happy, and she said, okay, I'm in, okay, and then we cut to the S.H.I.E.L.D. thing where Mac is actually away from S.H.I.E.L.D., and he's got Hunter chained up in a bathroom, okay, and he's calling uh, Mockingbird, Bobby, and telling her that, you know, you know, he's doing what he had, to, staying on mission, and, you know, he had to, you know, do what he had to do, protect the mission, and of course, Hunter is is uh, you know giving him shade for her you know knocking for choking him out like he did in the last episode, and you know Bobby says okay you know you got to do what you got to do and so she goes to see Coulson and Coulson actually has a talk with her and you know and he tells her how he offered her by uh, Hunter as a permanent spot on the team and and basically she she tells him you know she kind of covers for you know saying that basically uh you know Hunter that's just you know they get too close and then. Hunter fails, and she said Mac went after him, so that you know would explain why Mac is gone as well. Okay, and in the meantime, uh, they uh, Sky is is still in her containment thing, and they're still hoping to you know get her to control her powers. And to that end, uh, Coulson tells uh, Melinda that she you know kind of, that. that since they're going to put Sky on the index, since she has these special abilities now, they need to give her a psych evaluation. Okay, and of course, who, you know, would get that job would be Melinda's ex-husband. Okay, played by Blair Underwood. Okay, and she goes to visit him. Okay, and persuades him to, you know, you know, to come on and, and help. And, he, and help he does. He comes along, you know, at first, you know, you know, they do their back and forth about their their marriage and all that stuff, and then he eventually relents and he comes, and he basically you know, sets these conditions that basically whatever he, you know, whatever he uh, conducts in the session, the sky is going to happen. You know, she's going to know it, and he's not going to hide anything from her because she's his patient and all that stuff. You know, the usual rigmarole, and then of course at the same time, uh, uh, Kyle McLaughlin, Sky's father or Daisy's father, him and his uh, trio, uh, go, they go to a uh, psych. Hospital um, um, for the criminally insane, and of course they uh, slice the guy's guard's throat and break in for a purpose to free another inmate who basically is wearing this metal, like I guess you call it a Hannibal Lecter type mask, because he has this ability to when he screams to basically knock people and make them catatonic and completely knock them out, and I think even worse he can do worse if he I think he yells again, and. So they break him out and they wave to the camera <laughs> so S.H.I.E.L.D. can see them on the footage. And of course, Coulson's, you know, is saying, of course, Sky's father is absolutely crazy. And like I said, you also see uh, uh, Fitz and Simmons are still kind of, uh, you know, Simmons is kind of giving Fitz the cold shoulder. 
you know, because he's still upset that he wouldn't, that he kept Sky's condition hidden from him. Okay, but, you know, and uh, Bobby's trying to tell him, tell her that, you know, she gives Fitz a break. He was just doing it to protect Sky, of course, but, you know, she's still mad at Fitz. And then at the same time, of course, uh, at the facility, after they break out the guy, you know, the guy with the kind of a lactic mask, or I guess you call him a, a, a rogue banshee type of guy because he can scream and knock people out. Anyway, uh, uh, I think uh, Sky's father leaves a note. I think, I forgot what the saying is exactly, but it's got something related to Wisconsin where Carlson grew up. And that's how they, and Carlson figures it out. That's where um, Sky's father is headed for his showdown. Okay, and also uh, Bobby tracks him by the GPS thing, by his license plate. You got a hit on that so that they know where he's going. And he goes, he shows, he shows up at this uh, college. I think it's a college. And you see his cheerleaders, the football players practicing. And then you see, uh, they take off the metal mask from the metal kind of electric type guy. And he walks down and he, uh, actually, he walks down and he <laughs> sees, uh, he walks into the middle of the field. Everybody's looking at him and they start even taking pictures of him because he's, like I said, he, he's basically dressed in like a, like in the mental patient, you know, the pajamas and the robe and he got the beard and the, and he just walks down into the middle of the field and then he proceeds to yell and then you see his whole jaw drop down. Nice effect and everybody just passes out. Okay, and then of course it's the big showdown and so Colson and Bobby head there and of course uh, May uh, decides to take the bus there to meet because Colson needs backup. And of course, uh, of course she didn't tell uh, her husband who's having a session with Sky at first. Oh yeah, and also there was a scene where Sky was having a nightmare and they had to wake her up because she was literally shaking the plane. Okay. And also at the same time, you have a, they flash back to Mac and uh, Hunter, and he's Hunter still giving him the business, and he said, you know what, you know, time's up. It's time to meet the real boss. He said, I want to take you to the real boss. Okay. And then they cut back uh, to the showdown where Coulson heads out into the middle of the field, and Sky's father going to rant about Shield protecting, you know, you know, just, you know, disrupting all these people's special abilities and hiding them away. He's he's there to expose them, and of course, his minions are hanging around, and Bobby's like laying back. She's hidden behind the bleachers, you know, observing. Of course, and then, you know, when Coulson, when uh, Sky's father gets ready to uh, do what he, you know, expose, uh, have the the guy with the big mouth like, basically yell again. <laughs> uh, Melinda shows up with Sky, who has convinced her that she needs to come up because she knows her father is her is it that she's her father's weak spot, and then maybe use that to it. Their advantage, and Melissa does it by bringing Sky out with a gun pointed to her head, saying that you know they're gonna shoot her if uh, his father don't if they don't back down. Of course, and then of course he you know Sky's father makes makes him even more insane, and he's ready to unleash the guy with the big you know with the metal you know with the banshee type yell, except the guy with no eyes shows up again, who we saw a few weeks back, and who got Melinda uh, Arena. He shows up and takes Sky's father away, and they, you know, and to protect the force field, and then they vanish. You know, I guess he's a, like a night crawler, like a teleporter. Okay, and they vanish, and then of course Shield takes out the remaining, uh, you know, three people. You know, you know, Coulson knocks out the guy before he can yell, and and May, you know, kicks ass by kicking the guy that is hopped up on steroids, and Bobby takes out uh, the girl with the claws. So Shield wins the day again. Okay, and then we flash back to uh, Hunter. Uh, Bobby take and uh, uh, Mac taking uh, Hunter to meet the real you know his bosses and he says now time to meet the real Shield, okay? And you see the Shield emblem. Uh, it's a little slightly different, but it's a he said this is the real Shield. So apparently there's another Shield operating that we didn't know about that Bobby and and Mac is a part of, okay? And then it goes off. I think and what did he? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, and during the, the fight in the field where, you know, Shield was taking out those uh, Inhumans, uh, Sky starts shaking, but she kind of turns it inward and basically she passes out. And then that's the way uh, um, uh, Simmons explains to her how she turned her power inward. And that's why she had all these, you know, the, the blisters and stuff on her hands and stuff. She turned her power in, inside and kept it in turn so she wouldn't unleash it on anybody else. Okay, and then Fitzsimmons said that she can help. She can come up with something to help her. Okay, and then it goes, I think it goes off there. I think I'm, 
that's about it. Okay, so that's uh, what was he? This was pretty good. Anything with Kyle McLaughlin is sky as far. He's just that as crazy, and I love whenever he shows up. And I like that he refers to this guy as Daisy. And I don't know there's something about that. So because of Kyle McLaughlin and his inhuman henchmen, uh, I'm gonna give this episode a uh, a seven point five. Okay, I'm gonna give it that. Okay, let me know what you think. Have you seen it? Uh, episode thirteen of season two. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Pass. We're saying so long and take care.